Welcome all. Thank you for attending this launch today. This virtual setting is, in a way, the perfect venue for it. What better way to show the importance of reliable, high-speed networks around the world? Now, that's, of course, assuming that the connection is good wherever you are watching this, as I'm sure you've all experienced the joys of lagging video conferences over the last months. With the rise of remote learning, remote working, and socializing, it's never been more essential to deliver these high-speed, high-quality connections. Networks are becoming more complicated and more dense. Service providers must overcome new challenges to ensure the reliability of their networks and the complexity, of course, will only increase as 5G rollouts become the norm. And that's where Expo comes into the picture. Our role is to help operators accelerate their network transformations with their fiber optic and 5G investment. This means overcoming new challenges with new technology. And that's what we've done for over 35 years here at Expo. And that's why I have the pleasure of speaking with you today. Now, there are two numbers I'd like you to keep in mind as our team presents Expo's latest innovation, 80 and 1. 80% of optical networks have connector issues. And the number one cause of network failures is contaminated connectors. Little connectors have huge impacts. And yet, many of them are inspected properly or consistently because frankly, it could be a real pain. This is what this launch is all about. So thank you for joining me today as I kick off the launch of our new fiber inspection solution. A warm welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. As Philip mentioned in his opening remarks, little connectors can have big impacts on network performance. They are the weakest link. Something we hear again and again in our conversations with telecom and data center network operators. So why is that exactly? It all comes down to the connector and faces. If they are dirty or damaged, they will cause insertion loss and optical return loss. This, in turn, will create better rate and impact network performance and reliability. The situation gets more complicated with multi-fiber connectors like MPOs. A single bad connector will affect multiple links and in central offices or data centers, these links typically carry high-speed traffic that's even more sensitive to bad connectors. It's a vicious circle. That's why it's so much more important to make sure the connectors are in top shape during the installation phase. Otherwise, operators will need to shut down live links to fix future problems. As we all know, multi-fiber cables can be expensive capital expenditure. It's a shame to have to replace them due to dirty connectors. Multi-fiber connectors are difficult to clean effectively and quickly. Attempting to clean them when not necessary can make them even worse. So then, why aren't all connectors inspected? Seems like a simple solution, right? Well, without the right tools, it can be understandably tempting to skip this step and then plug and pray. But of course, that's not a long-term solution. With these challenges in mind, Expo has built fiber inspection scopes for years, continually improving their ease of use and developing rich algorithms that we keep improving from release to release. I'm very happy to introduce you today to a new solution we've developed to make it so much easier and accurate to inspect these critical connectors. It's time to say goodbye to plug and pray. With that, it's my pleasure to introduce the new FIP500 inspection solution. With network densification, multi-fiber cables are gaining momentum. In applications such as data centers, cords, FTTH and FTTA, but they come with their share of challenges. With 80% of network owners reporting connector issues, 
dirty or damaged connectors remain the number one cause of network failures. Inspecting multi-fiber connectors and faces is more critical, but also easier and faster than ever. Meet the FIP500, the most automated, reliable, and fastest multi-fiber and single-fiber inspection scope in the industry. This best-in-class inspection scope was designed to help operators achieve better system performance and network reliability and address challenges including cleaning connectors and replacing cables when not necessary or mating connectors blindly and hoping it works. Its illumination technique allows for a better contrast between light and dark areas, ensuring the most accurate and repeatable pass-fail results there is. The auto reset feature allows for zero button inspection. Safe Diagnostics for an MPO12 is reached in less than 10 seconds. Its high quality touchscreen, ergonomic design, long battery life, extra storage and connectivity make the FIP500 a self-contained tool designed for full day intensive use. Switching between multi-fiber and single fiber is a matter of seconds thanks to the innovative quick connect quarter turn mechanism. Fewer tips are needed and changing them can be done easily without the risk of losing parts, keeping the cost of ownership down. Regardless of their experience, the FIP500 is an essential tool for any fiber technician. Equip your team and speed up high volume inspection of any type of connectors. Request your demo today. Our first observation when looking at multi-fiber inspection is that up until now, there was no perfect solution for MPO inspection. Having an accurate and repeatable pass-fail diagnostic every time was something really challenging. It is true that from a technical standpoint, this is more complicated to do than for single fiber. Our first goal when designing the FIP500 was to make sure it would be spot on every time, giving accurate and repeatable results. We designed it specifically to address the challenges of multi-fiber connector inspection. So when you think about it, a fiber inspection scope is a specialized microscope that takes a picture of the really small connector end face, on top of which a pass-fail analysis algorithm is applied. No matter how good your analysis algorithm is, if the picture that you're working from doesn't have a good definition, well, you won't achieve good results. So we improved our optical assembly to achieve high definition images with sharp contrast between the light and the dark areas. So when we run our analysis algorithm on top of that image, it can easily distinguish defects, scratches from any other things such as reflections and properly diagnose them. So this means that no matter how many times you test the connector, you will always obtain the same reliable diagnostic. Speed of tests is always important, especially when there's a high volume of tests to be performed, like when a whole patch panel has to be certified. A game changer is that this tool is the fastest in the industry. It takes less than 10 seconds to perform the full inspection process of an MPO12 connector. That is, from the moment a connector is inserted, to the analyzed and saved results. To ensure an optimal speed of test, all steps of the operation have been automated, turning connector and face inspection into a zero button operation. And let me tell you, this is really awesome. The technicians, they simply have to connect the scope to the connector and it will know that a connector has been inserted. It will automatically focus, center and capture the image and analyzes. All this in less than 10 seconds. And the FIP500 automatically resets when disconnected and is ready for the next inspection. This enables a technician to rapidly test multiple connectors in a row. Express MPO connector testing has never been that easy. Another nice feature is the integrated high quality touchscreen. It is smartphone grade and lets the user clearly see the image of the connector under inspection. This bright screen is designed to be 
efficient in the full sun or in dark areas from any angle. Building on the possibilities offered by such a screen, an intuitive user interface was developed with easy navigation. The FIP500 has Bluetooth, connectivity, and can be connected to a smart device for result sharing. It remains a fully autonomous tool that doesn't need to be connected to any external viewer for the inspection process. The level of automation of this tool combined with its intuitive user interface makes it so easy to use that no training is required. With this new tool, switching between MPO and LC adapter or any other connector type is a matter of seconds. This is important as there are different connector types coexisting together at the same location. So a technician would typically need different adapter tips to fit the different form factors of those connector types. This is why, and let me tell you, I'm really thrilled about this, we're introducing a quick connect quarter turn mechanism for easy tip switching. Okay, let's now see how easy it is to change tip or to change from multi-fiber to single fiber with the FIP500. So to change the tip, I have this quick connect mechanism, quarter turn to change the tip. So I just take it out like this. And then if I want to put a new tip, I just plug it in, quarter turn, as easy as that. If I wanted to change from single from multi-fiber to single fiber, I would do it from this ring here. Same quick connect mechanism, take it out. And then if I want to put it back in, as easy as that, quarter turn, and you're ready to go. Tip changing is now a one-step operation that can be done with one hand without any loose parts. These design considerations minimize manipulations to speed up and facilitate work in difficult environments, such as on the top of a pole or a cell tower. Lots of work has been put into this device to make these benefits possible. Our research and development team has been working on key innovations to develop this solution. And let's see how. From the start, it was clear for the R&D team that an improved optical design ensuring a high level of accuracy and repeatability would be our number one objective. After a lot of research and feasibility studies, we settled on some key technical innovations to achieve the desired level of performance for the FIP 500. In optical design, the larger the lenses, the better the resolution and the image quality will be. Deformable lenses are often used in inspection scopes but they do not provide the level of details we are looking for. For the FIP500, we use larger lenses that we custom carve for this specific application. We did not make any compromise on the clarity of the image, while also making sure that the tip at the extremity of the scope remains small enough to properly fit into dense patch panels. SEMA sensor technology evolved a lot in the last few years driven by applications such as autonomous vehicle and facial recognition. Using two 5 megapixel last generation CMOS sensor, we achieved great field of view, enabling us to see the whole surface of the multi-fiber connector. This field of view is large enough to see up to four rows of 12 fibers on a single connector. While connector with more than two rows of fiber are not yet common, we know they are coming and this tool is ready for it. For optimum performance, it is critical to ensure a uniform illumination across the whole surface of the MPO connector. To do so, we use not one, but two LEDs. Greater illumination improves small defect visibility while avoiding shadows and blind zones. The LED use for fiber inspection are usually blue. We decided to use violet LED at 405 nanometer this is providing greater contrast on small details, leading to the most reliable password diagnostic in the industry. This improvement was necessary for identifying very small defects, as small as 2 micron, which is about 35 times smaller than human hair. The other key objective we had when designing the FIP500 was to deliver the fastest and most automated unit on the market. To support the automation, and to drive its high-quality touchscreen, we are bringing a lot of horsepower under the hood, 
we use a dual-core CPU at 1.4 GHz for top-notch performance. But what really matters is how effective and efficient the FIP500 is in the field. We bring innovations to make life easier for technicians and managers. So, let's see it in action. Welcome. We have just received the new fiber inspection scope FIP500, and we're about to step in to a data center, or in fact, a central office re-architected as a data center. So, follow me. The FIP500 has been designed with high fiber density patch panel in mind. In today's reality, inspecting and cleaning connection is paramount, especially with the deployments of MPO, MTP, and transceivers interfaces using multiple fibers connectors. My scope was in slip mode, a simple touch on the trigger, and it's back on. But first, let's look at the connectors to inspect. We have a few single fibers connectors and some MPOs, so we need to select the right tip. With a quick connect mechanism, a quarter turn, and it's on. The FIP500 is equipped with integrated optical components and cost-effective long-reach nozzles allowing to inspect in crowded patch panels. In few seconds, the fully automated inspection is done and the diagnostic is clearly displayed on the bright screen and LED indicator. I can zoom on a fiber, scan connectors. Very easy and intuitive user interface. When the screen gets more difficult to see because of the height of the patch panel, the LED is pretty useful and could be seen at any angles. For patch panel inspection, I can simply use a regular bulkhead adapter without having to change the tip. The unit can store 1800 tests and the battery autonomy is 7 hours of continuous testing. I can also connect the unit to my phone and share the result in real time. Et voila, another clean connection. Now it's easy and fast to certify MPO patch panel and this powerful LED can serve as a flashlight in darker settings, such as recessed bulkhead like in this one. Let's talk about the quality of the inspection. I'm going to inspect this same connector over and over to validate that we get repeatable and reliable results. So no surprises here, spot on every time. The FIP500 is equipped with a wrist strap, a USB charge port to charge this powerful battery. It's ergonomic, well balanced, it has a good grip. There is a trigger, a powerful LED indicator, long reach tips with a unique quick connect mechanism, a power button, screen is recessed and protected with tough bumpers, three years warranty. Changing the optical head for single fiber testing is as simple as changing a tip. This new solution addresses everything our customers reported as a hassle. This FIP500 will directly save time and money. Thank you, Gwen. Great stuff. And thanks to the whole Expo team who worked so hard on this event, this launch, and obviously this product. I've got to say that I'm very proud of the innovation we're able to present today. I have three key takeaways from our new fiber inspection solution. Number one is ease of use with the Express MPO inspection. Number two, repeatable and accurate results. And number three, if required, we have the easiest tip replacement in our industry. Just amazing new functionalities. And that's how we do things at Expo. We're committed to continuous improvement, innovation, and making sure that our customers get full value from their investments. So now it's time to hear from you. Time for me to leave you in the capable hands of Stéphane and Guillaume for the question and answer period. So please take care, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this Q&A session. Thank you for attending the event. Um, so available for you to answer your questions uh, are uh, Guillaume Lavallee, Product Line Manager at Expo. Hello, Guillaume. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining this session. I'll be happy to take your questions. And we also have uh, Stefan Shabat, the Vice President of the Test and Measurement Division at Expo. Hi, everyone. Hello, A pleasure to be with you. 
So quick reminder before we get going with the questions, uh, please input your questions on the right side of your screen and we will uh, try to answer as many uh, questions as we can in this uh, 10 to 15 minutes that we have ahead of us. If any questions are left unanswered, we will make sure to follow up with you directly. And uh, or if you need to contact us directly, you have some contact information on the right screen of, uh, on the right side of your screen. Uh, you can also find some upcoming events uh, and uh, the promo code uh, for attending this event. So thank you very much, everybody, for for joining us. So um, let's kick this off with the first question. Um, let me see. All right. Uh, we have a question that says, is it possible to change tips if the FIP is on or does it have to be turned off? And I believe this is a question for you, Guillaume. Yes, uh, absolutely. I can take this question. In fact, this is a really good question I've received from different customers through my discussions over the last few weeks. And I made a little video to, uh, to explain that. So it's a bit more uh, visual. So I'll share this video now. Should be coming up in a second. Okay, so here's this video to, to show the ease uh, to change tips or to change from single fiber to multi fiber. We explained it also earlier, but I wanted to show it compared to other units that are available on the market. So not only is it super fast, under eight seconds, really easy, but with some competitor units, you have challenges. Uh, you need to turn off the unit because if the motor inside the unit is on while you attempt to change from multi-fiber to single fiber, you can damage your unit, meaning that you're left without any unit to perform your test. Other challenges are that there's a lot of loose parts uh, you need to manage. You need to know in which order to, uh, to put them together to achieve a single fiber uh, management. But also you can lose those parts, you can break them. Uh, if you're on top of a tower, on top of a pole, it's really challenging. And if you lose those parts, well, you cannot complete your job. So that leaves you again without the unit. So we had all those challenges in mind when designing the new FIP 500. And that's why we came in with this quick mechanism to change tips. No constraint, the unit can be on. There's no risk of breaking anything uh, while changing tips. All right, thank you. Good video. Here's another question. Uh, I believe again for you, Guillaume. Can I reuse my FIP 500 tips with the new FIP 500? Uh, the FIP 435B tips, sorry. With the FIP 500. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yes, it is possible. Uh, we'll have an adapter that will support the FIP T 400 tips. Of course, if you go with those previous generation of tips, you won't benefit from the quick connect. Uh, by default also, our new tips have longer reach that gives you better accessibility in those recessed and dense panels. So you won't benefit from those new innovations. However, with the adapter, the tips that you already have uh, for the FIP 400B series would be compatible with this new FIP 500. Thank you. Another question coming in. What are the main applications where you see multi-fiber connectors being used? And that, I think this is for you, Stefan. Absolutely. Uh, thanks, Marianne. Good question. Uh, actually, five key markets or applications uh, were you know, factored in when we designed that new solution. First one around uh, data center, or edge data center also, and co-located co uh, ones, which are key ones. As Guillaume mentioned earlier, either COs or end that were re-architected uh, as data centers. Uh, of course, as we've also seen into the video, from a wireless standpoint on 4G LTE or 5G uh, fiber to the antenna uh, between the BBU and the RRH side. And of course, uh, a market we've been extremely involved for the last 15 years on the fiber to the home side, on those outdoor terminals or those cabinets uh, at the drop. So these are the five main ones. Thank you. Thank you. Um, question for you, Guillaume. Will the FIP 435B be discontinued? 
Uh, in fact, no, the FIP 500 is a line extension. This is a new uh, tool that we bring to our portfolio of products. So the FIP 400B, either the USB version or the wireless version, they remain available. Those are proven units. Uh, there are tens of thousands of units in the hands of technicians around the globe. They're doing uh, you know, uh, great work with those units, so they remain available. Okay, thank you. Another question. Um, second. Um, there's a comment that says, great product. Does it have the tip dust cover? Guillaume? Yes, I can take that one. There is a cover, yes, that comes uh, over the, the actual tip. Um, this is really uh, used typically when you carry the unit, so it's, it's really a protective cap uh, for transport. Um, yes, yes, it comes with it. Good. Other question coming in. Um, so I see a lot of innovation in the FIP 500. Where do you come with those ideas? And I believe, Stefan, that could be a question for you. Absolutely. Great question. And yes, one uh, very close and dear to our heart. So, Expo for now more than 35 years. You know, we've been, we're uh, known as very strong innovators. That's part of our DNA. Uh, we invest significantly in R&D and try to make it easier and automate everything, every test solutions that you see out there on the market. Um, nine years ago with the IOLM uh, that we introduced to market in 2011 on the fiber characterization side, that was the exact same market. Uh, same mindset, I'm sorry. And on the fiber inspection side, uh, we brought uh, the first wireless FIP uh, five years ago in 2015. Two years after, in 2017, we had, uh, by a couple of months, uh, the first semi-automated uh, MPO solution uh, on the market. But uh, we've been involved into the fire fiber inspection scope industry for the last 20 years. And of course, through that, you know, through voice of customer, and meeting customers on a daily basis worldwide and on the voice of customer and those key pains that were really well shown uh, by Guillaume into the video. Uh, you know, that's what uh, it's all about and that's where it comes from. And it, that's why we're so proud on the new uh, FIP 500 new solution. Thank you. Excellent. Other question coming in. Um, I believe one for, for Guillaume. Can you use the FIP 500 to test optic tap hardened connection? Uh, that's a good question. Yes, the unit is designed to support any type of multi-fiber connector. Uh, so yes, for optic tap, it works fine with that. We have the adapter to support this uh, connector form factor, optic tip as well. Um, in fact, the unit is really designed to be ruggedized. We inspired ourselves a lot from the power tools. So it's really built uh, to be used in the field. It's rough. You have a lot of bumper protection. So no problem to use it in outdoor um, applications. And part of that of the tap of the tip is one that we're covering. Excellent. Question. Um... For you again, Guillaume, is this only for MPO? Uh, in fact, no. So uh, we talk a lot about MPO because it is a fully automated solution for MPO, but it also supports single fiber. So we've seen uh, how to change an optical head, this quarter turn mechanism. So by switching this optical head, you can put one that support single fiber and uh, will gradually support all types of connector from a single fiber perspective. So a lot of SC, LC, um, ST, any other type of connector will also be supported from single fiber perspective and also all what's multi-fiber MPO. Great. Um... Question again for you, Guillaume. How long does it take to check in MPO24? Uh, yes, so we said um, in, in the presentation in the video that for MPO12, it takes less than 10 seconds. So this is the fastest in the industry. 
While we're inspecting uh, MPO24, it's going to take less than 14 seconds. And again, that's from the moment the probe is uh, inserted with a connector until you have your analyzed and saved results. Okay, so for the old test. So this is really, again, the fastest uh, MPO inspection solution on the market, either for MPO12, MPO24. Um, we said it's going to support up to MPO48 as well, also the variants of MPO16, 32. So uh, we support all of those in a rapid uh, fashion. We are now at the bottom of the hour, but uh, we are going to take uh, one more question right now um, before we wrap this up um, for this great session. So um, let me see if we have any other questions coming in. I will ask this otherwise so we can. Oh, OK, let, we have one. Um, so for you, Guillaume, why using violet light? Isn't blue the standard for inspection? Yes, it's true. By default, nowadays, what you see on the market is the traditional blue LED uh, that has been out there for a while. In fact, this is also what we're using in our FIP 400B solution. So it's a, it's a proven solution. But again, we're always uh, trying to bring new innovation and improve the way uh, we work with different products. So by bringing this violet LED, it gives us a better visibility, a better view, especially on the really small defects. So you're looking at defects uh, that go under uh, two micrometer. So you need really a clear image and that helps improve the repeatability and the accuracy of your results. So that is why we decided to move forward with this key inno innovation. Again, always attempting to reduce the different pain points by our customers. Excellent. Thank you very much. So this is all the time we had today. Um, we really hope that you enjoyed this session. Uh, a reminder that the promo code expires on January 31st. So please take advantage of that. And uh, thank you, everyone, for your time. Thank you, Guillaume. Thank you, Stefan. Pleasure. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.